Welcome back to Talk Back. We're talking to Lieutenant General Asad Rani of MI and ISI fame. General, was the ISI involved in the AQ Khan proliferation scandal? Look, ISI's functions are external intelligence or external operations. As far as the nuclear program was concerned, it was strictly kept outside the domain of the ISI. It had its own intelligence organization. So people, experts from many organizations were pulled together, and they were the ones who were responsible for the act. Uh, no. General, I want to get this logically. This yep. is A.Q. Khan we are talking about. He's one of the most protected men in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. The ISI is watching him. Other people are watching him. His movements, his activities, his assets, his house, his dog, whatever. How can one man travel the world freely, trade in nuclear deals with actors known and unknown? And how can the ISI, our so-called watchdog, the watchdog, the premier, the premier security agency of this country, not know about it? How can you please explain this to me logically? That how can the ISI, our premier security agency, not know of one of the most what one of the most watched men in this country is doing? No intelligence agency in the world knows everything that happens. I have already said this was not the um, mandate given to the ISI. It was a separate organization. Reports indicate that and, there was at one point there were twenty to twenty-five ISI personnel guarding his house. You couldn't cross his street. I have no idea about that and I am not going to deny or confirm it because I do not know and what time we are talking about. All that I am trying to say is that there was another intelligence organization which was responsible for this. There were people who were also overseeing the whole organization. What was the name of that organization? No, that organization something is called but that was with the, with the, with the, with the particular program. Was it the MI sir? No, not the MI. Was it the IB sir? No, of course not. I said it was a special organization that was created to look after this particular project. And it doesn't have a name? Oh, it must be having a name, except that I don't remember that name. But let me just try and give you the substantial answer to this. And that is, if you want to have an operation like this, we had to carry out this program. The whole program was covert, clandestine. It, has, it had to be done this way. So there's a man flying around. He's one of the most, this is, this is what you're saying. There's one of the most, he's one of the most watched men in Pakistan. He's flying around the world in C-130s, military C-130s. Nobody knows about it. He's making nuclear deals. Nobody knows about it. The ISI doesn't Look, know about it. Nobody knows about it. At least it. That's what you're I saying. do not know if he was flying around the world in C-130s. That is something that I do not know. I also would not say that he was the most watched man. Of course, he was watched. He was watched by some people. And if he was involved in something, it is quite possible that some people knew. But most of the people would not know. And we were not the ones who were I do respond. It. So, General, once again, I'm going to, with due respect, I'm going to push this fact. You are saying that the, what happened with AQ Khan was, in effect, an intelligence failure. I did not say that. If there was an intelligence, the there was, was not aware it was not general. an ISI affair. It was not an ISI operation. ISI was not keeping a tag on him. That intelligence organization, if it failed, might have failed. If that was its job and it failed. If A.Q. Khan got involved in this thing, yes, some people may have known it, the others failed to know this. And I mean, all that is possible, except that I do not know what was happening. Do you think, do you think that sounds And this was also not, oh yes, this was not my job. Pakistan's nuclear program was not the job of the, the not the mandate of the ISI. So effectively, you're saying that the ISI, the all-knowing ISI, stopped watching A.Q. Khan oh. for several years while he went around the world making nuclear deals. ISI was not all-knowing, never, and this was not the subject that the ISI was dealing with. Interesting. But well, there was an organization, of course there were people, the president was involved, the army chief. I mean, there was a, a body that used to oversee that. What all happened, you know, we are assuming that he was doing all that we are charging him with. He might have done some He's of it. He's confessed to it, sir. He's so whatever he is. He's gone on national television and confessed And to he it. said that he passed on certain information. Now that information also could be an information that one has in heart, in one's brain. Now that can be transferred. If he did that, if he said that. And I do not know under what circumstances he So the bottom line that. is, during your tenure or around your tenure, the ISI was not keeping an eye on you. That's right. Absolutely. It was involved in other, bigger, better things. We were doing external things. 
we were watching the movement of the Indian formations, we were involved with Afghanistan, we used to look after what happened in the Gulf area, we were closely tagging the uh, movement in the General, uh, trips you are, you are yes. here on national television and you expect the Pakistani people to believe that. I only will say what I believe that I have known and what the fact was. This is the truth as I have known. Whether people buy it or not, that is not the, my, uh, you know, uh, that's not my compulsion. Stay tuned to talk back. We're talking to Lieutenant General Asad Durrani, former Director General of the MI and the ISI.